Hi guys, welcome to another Dave Downey fly tying video production. Here, I'll be sharing all my favourite flies and methods of tying them to make catching fish better for you guys around the world. And also making tying these flies easier with my different styles and techniques. All the flies I'll be tying on these videos, uh, I personally use them all and they catch fish, not just the angler, and they catch fish all over the world. Uh, end of each video, I'll have a wee list of materials just in case you missed it in the video and also a link to my online shop where you can purchase the flies and the materials required to make these killer patterns. I hope you all enjoy the video and I hope you all pass the word about, let your mates know, let your fishing pals know, uh, share the videos, uh, whatever, just so that people are getting to see the patterns etc. Because I, I, I do like to share and I like to help. Uh, today I'm going to tie a, a version of the thread fly, which is a famous check fly, first given to me by Martin Draws. Uh, what we'll be using is, I've got in the vise a size 14 jig hook. You can use whatever type of jig hook you like, but I'm using Venryard's Osprey ones, because I think they're quite good hooks. They've got a good gape, and they've got a little, little turn point on them. Uh, what we've got on here, so that's a 14. What I've put on is a size 3.2, fully mill, slotted bead silver. Now I'll tie these patterns mostly with silver or copper beads. So it's mostly always silver or copper that we use. So for the tail I'm going to be using fluorescent pink angel hair. This is the Cybear stuff. I do sell this product. It's very good. You can see it's got the, the pink and the UV through it. So that's what we're using for the tail. For the rib we're going to use good old glow bright number four today but obviously you can use different colours so you could use a 12 which is fluorescent green you could use a one or a two which is pink you could use the the, the five which is more orangey red but for today we're going to use a uh, number number four which is more scarlet red we're also going to use our squirrel again hair's ear whatever you like to call it uh, as i says you can use whatever type you want we're going to use a dubbing twister and we're going to use some brown partridge for the hackle. Dubbing twister I like to use is a stone foo one. I just think it's so much easier and it spins so much easier as well. I will do a separate video on dubbing loops uh, at some point. Uh, and for the thorax, what we're going to use is some Cybear again, which is a fine diamond dubbing dark peacock. I do have that also in stock. I just think it's a great colour. You can see there it changes uh, and as I say we're using the Unithread AO Fire Orange. Reason being most of the Czech guys, French guys, they like to use the Fire Orange thread. Obviously it, what, what it does is when the dubbing kind of comes apart a little bit you can see the thread or when it gets wet you can see the thread through it and fish do like orange. So all I'm doing is building a wee bit of thread up behind the bead to keep the bead in place. No point in gluing it. It's just time consuming and I don't see a benefit in it. So we'll take that down to the where we want the tail to finish. We'll then get our, our angel hair. And obviously the angel hair it can be quite hard to work with because it's in kind of clumps. So you can just pull out some. Right, so just pull some out of the clump. Obviously if you're tying more than one fly, I'm going to use more than that, but with this, because it's one fly, I'm just going to fold it over, uh, or tie it in, okay, so we'll tie it in there. Now, because I'm going to tie more than one fly at times, I will then just cut that. Wet, wet that bit, just roll it in my fingers and just set it to the side. So that'll do my next fly. So we've got a little pink tag on there. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is get the, the glow bright floss. Now I've already folded this up. So there's four strands folded. And that's going to be my rib. So we'll just catch that in. Same again, a nice loose turn and just pull it down tight. Loose turns tighten. And just keep on your way up. Okay, now we've done that, we're going to go back again. We'll just take it back. Next thing, a bit of wax on the thread. So 
going to wax the thread and we're going to get some of the squirrel hair well, keep saying it, you're going to hear it a lot in my videos squirrel hairs here, you could probably use rabbit as well just some kind of spiky dubbing that, this is a fox squirrel which is a little bit brownier and harder to get hold of now but there's plenty of grey squirrel available some places have got some pine squirrel same as the other flies just push it in but obviously with this one because we're not doing a shrimp we're not going to push it too flat because we want it to get spiky so that's our body now what we're going to do with the thread uh, the floss sorry is we're going to roll it just keep rolling it in a clockwise motion so it becomes thinner and then we're going to do four turns and as we're getting closer to the thorax what I was doing was letting loose on the turns so it opens up a little bit and it gets a little bit thicker so it starts thinner and goes thicker as we're going forward I'll just tie that off and just trim it obviously I'm going to keep that because that's going to do maybe another three or four flies so what we're going to do is we'll make our loop okay so tying the loop in and then just spin the bobbin around the loop a couple of times and tie it off I'll put my bobbin holder to the side I'll get my dubbing twister okay and what we're doing is we're creating a triangle with the dubbing twister right I'm going to put a bit of wax in that wee triangle there's a bit of wax in there okay right so we're party's feather we're going to prep your party's feather so we're going to take off all the flu and all the fluffy stuff now I don't want these flies too heavy what I could do is use both sides of the feather if I really wanted I'm just using the one side so you want to get it all cocked up so it's all sitting up the way then we want to take a bulldog clip so I've got a nice bulldog clip here you can use fancier tools if you want but I just like a bulldog clip then just catch the feather obviously don't cut it too close to the clip then that's you get your little bits to catch in so open up the triangle and slide bulldog clip inside so it's just catching it no more and then we're going to start spinning the thread this is a tricky bit you've got to make sure you're ready to go with this because as soon as you let go of that clip if you've not caught it with the thread I do a couple of wee spins first and it catches then I'll spin it a bit more now obviously you need to watch that you don't spin it too much because you'll snap the thread you can use hackle pliers to basically catch this piece, spin it round. I use these hackle pliers, uh, stone foo ones are fantastic. But as long as you're catching it properly, you can just actually tie it in with a dubbing twister and then pull the fibres back and just slide your thread round. Couple of turns to catch it in and then just clip. and then we'll just tidy it up a little bit that's you got your hackle now you can have it longer, you could have it shorter, sometimes I like it a wee bit shorter and then all we want to do is get a bit and this is a wee tip, see the bag I cut the corner off the bag and that means I don't have to keep opening and closing the bag and as long as there's a little bit of dubbing hanging out sometimes it's better to wet your fingers when you're doing using synthetic dubbins just to get that onto the thread and obviously it will hang out the corner of the bag you can just pull out a little bit as you need at a time so tie the dubbin in first whip finish second whip finish we're obviously going to apply some varnish on onto the, the, the thread so just put a bit of varnish on the thread 
that means it, I've got it varnished and I don't have to try and these are all tips for making your fly more durable and last longer. Obviously I'm not going to stick varnish in there and it's going to get cake, the dubbing's going to get covered in it. So if you put it on a thread that allows you to bring it in behind and just scruff it up a wee bit. There you go, so that's a check thread fly. Obviously you can change a tail, you can have a natural tail, you can change the, rub, the rib on it, you can change the thorax colour, change the bead. It's really up to yourself, it's just a thread fly is just a generic name for it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Follow me on Facebook, David C. Downey. You can follow me on Instagram, Dave Downey Fly Fishing. Uh, check out my guiding site. I do do guiding, uh, coaching, special on nymphing, uh, Euro nymph, French nymph, Czech nymph, whatever you want to call it. Uh, www.davedowneyfishing.com and lastly my online shop uh, with my blogs on it is www.fly-fishingworld.com so Thanks for watching another Dave Downey Fly Tying video production and have a great day and even more, have some great fishing days. Cheers, thanks. <laughs>